they want to say my body, my choice. Well, it's my body, my choice to not wear a mask and to not be vaccinated. Students and parents protest the state's new mask mandate requiring everyone in schools to wear a mask. Dozens of students were sent home after refusing to wear their masks in the Greater Latrobe High School. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us here on KDK News at Noon and on CBS and Pittsburgh. I'm Lindsay Ward. Today is the first day the state order went into effect, requiring all students, staff and teachers to wear their masks. Our Brianna Smith was at the high school all morning long talking to students and their parents. She joins us live with the details and Brianna, we also saw some students holding signs. Well, Lindsay, about 40 students and parents showed up to school without a mask and protested here for about an hour. They say it should be up to the students whether they want to wear a mask or not. Now, parents say that masks were optional for students in the greater Latrobe district before the state ordered the mask mandate. The state's acting health secretary says the mask will protect students in the classroom and help stop the spread of COVID-19. But some students and parents claim masks are not effective. Some even went as far is filing a lawsuit against the state. While some of the greater Latrobe High School students say it's their body, their choice, other parents are asking them to just wear a mask. It's distracting. It gives people anxiety. We can't breathe. And how are we supposed to focus on schoolwork when we can't do anything, you know? And doing this is going to fight for our freedom as students and to not be taken over. I work on a COVID unit in the hospital and if people would see how much these patients are suffering, I would watch, much rather see my daughter wear a mask than watch her suffering, to, struggling to breathe in the hospital. Now, after the protest, most of the students went home. They say administrators told them they had to wear a mask or leave. Students say now they're being denied access to their education. And now the students plan to protest again tomorrow. And I just got off the phone with the superintendent. She said that some students chose to wear a mask and stay in school. She hopes others follow suit. Otherwise, they're going to have to sign up for cyber school, ECAT, or be homeschooled. Reporting in Latrobe, Brianna Smith, KDK News.